This screencast is to show you how to complete the multimedia proposal piece of the Unit 1 culminating activity. Your first step is to go to your culminating activity folder in Schoology and locate the assignment that is titled Multimedia Proposal. This is most likely going to be underneath paragraph drafting. Once you have that open, you're going to click on My Document to open your copy of this assignment. Your document will look like this. So the goal of this assignment is to find all of the multimedia that you plan to use in your textbook chapter. So that includes things like pictures, videos, audio, um, quotes from people that lived during the time that you're talking about. All of that that we talked about in class counts as multimedia. Anything that is not just text within a paragraph that you've written. In your outline that you did at the beginning of this project, you should have some brainstorming about what you wanted to include. So now we're going out to find the actual media that we will include. So it might be helpful for you to pull up your outline as you complete this. So if I go over to my example outline, the first media that I thought I might want to include is an image of the author. And this is going to go in my introduction. So I'm going to come over to my multimedia proposal assignment. And the section that this is going to go in is the introduction. So I'll just put that section there. And I got that from the um, big idea that it's underneath of. So that is the section that it goes in. And now I'm just going to head over to Google and find what I want. So I am looking for a picture of my author. So I'll head over and conduct my search, go to images, and you might be going to YouTube or other places for this as well. Anywhere you go, that's fine. You're just looking for your media. And I'm just going to pick the one that I want. This one's good. And I can copy this image and then paste it into the box. And I'll probably resize it so it doesn't take up so much room. And just in case I need to get back to it later, I'm going to provide the link to this image as well. So I'll come back over to the search. And when I right click on it, this time I'm going to click on copy image address. And that will be a link directly to this image. So if I pasted that in my URL spot, it would give me that image. So I'm going to go ahead and provide that link here too, just in case I need to go back to it for whatever reason later. And then in this white column, I'm going to explain why I want to include this in my chapter. So explain why and then think about what impact this will have on your reader's understanding of the chapter and that will go in the white column. All right, so I added my explanation about why I want to include this in my chapter, and I'm ready to go out and find another piece of it. So I'm gonna head back to my outline and find the next piece of media that I want. Um, so for this one, I have a pretty good idea of what song I want to include. So I'm gonna head over here, and ooh, let's see, that goes in the 1920s or the time period section, so I will put that here. And for this, I'm going to include a song. So I'm going to head over to um, YouTube to find the song. And once I find my song and my video, whatever it is that I'm including, if I'm in YouTube, I will click on the share button down here. And I'm just going to copy the link for this because I can't put a YouTube video in a Google Doc. So for this, I'm just going to copy the link and I'll put the title of the song in here as well. So 
uh, YouTube video. Um, and I'll just remind myself what this video even is. So it's a song called Ain't We Got Fun. And then I'll just paste the link in here. And again, I'm going to explain why I want to include this in my chapter and the impact that it's going to have on my reader. So I'm just going to go through and do this for all of the media that I want to include. You've got five uh, rows here to add things to, but use as many as you need. So if you need to add more after this, you can just click in the bottom row and then two finger click or right click and then insert a row below. So you can do this as many times as you need to. Um, make sure that you've got any media in your outline that you wanted to still include, or if you've had more ideas since you filled out your outline, you can add them as well. So it doesn't have to be in your outline to include it in your proposal. So once this is all filled out and you're satisfied with it, you're going to submit it to Schoology.